Hands Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, 29 July, FOMC week. A lot of build up here. Wow, the media, the financial media over the weekend. Most important week of the year. I think Barron's was like practically most important week in a decade. Uh, you know, FT, Wall Street Journal, all babbling, frothing at the mouth for this Wednesday announcement. And there's no denying it, this, this is going to be massively important. Um, I just don't think it's going to be as straightforward as people think. Uh, the reason I bring it up is, here we are Monday preceding a Wednesday FOMC call and a Tuesday morning BOJ press conference. Um, this is not a day to take a directional bet. You can sort of try and skim some money uh, out of the market. But especially if you have a U.S. dollar position, um, you don't want to be taking a U.S. dollar directional bet position before these huge, huge events. So if you have cross on and it's technically driven or your global macro studies are telling you you can hold this, uh, I'm thinking EuroCAD, if you're, if you're still playing long EuroCAD, which we are, uh, we're still going to play with this. We're going to trade this as we have been doing since Thursday. Um, but as far as dollar based pairs, keep it light, right? Keep it light. Uh, save your bullets. We want to go into Wednesday fresh. We want to be able to look both sides. Um, and there'll be maybe four or five scenarios we'll be looking at. You need to think about, start thinking about all those scenarios today. 25 cut, 50 cut, 25 cut with a dovish press conference, 25 cut with a hawkish press conference, a one and done press conference, 50 cut with, this is the beginning of a cycle press conference, easing cycle, or 50 cut one and done. Um, these are the scenarios you have to keep in your head and there's going to be knee jerk right on a lot of those scenarios. So start thinking about it now, start visualizing it. So when it is happening, you're thinking less at the moment. You already have the plan in your head. It's an important day and there's a lot of money to be made on Wednesday. So get your head right and uh, let's be ready for that. Anyway, let's look at today uh, a couple of important things. Again, um, we're not marrying anything, but there is money to be made now uh, through 111, the figure in Euro dollar. This is range lows. I don't expect this to happen, uh, even though cable's getting smashed. We don't have any Euro, Euro data today. This is the end of July. I don't, um, the fix should be a dollar sell based on U.S. stocks, all-time highs. I don't, I don't expect 111 to figure to happen, but if it does happen, there'll be systematic momentum systems that have to sell through this and there'll be money to be made. Um, so just keep in mind, massively important number. This is probably a number that we're going to have to focus more on uh, on Wednesday, if it holds, or whatever low that we print pre-Wednesday. That will replace this number if it prints, if you see what I mean. Uh, but this is a real important number, 111.04. What else is out there? Dollar Rand through the roof. We had some uh, commentary from the central bank about easing and economic sluggishness. Uh, we are not involved in this. We usually are when Dollar Rand is going higher, but we're just watching this. I feel like we kind of missed it. Uh, we talked about Thursday through 04, and now it's through 20. Here we are, 14.30. Um, like most dollar rand uh, moves, this will probably extend a lot further than people will expect it. Uh, you certainly uh, could.
could expect this to touch this 1445 um, pre pre FOMC. But you know, just like I said before, you don't want to you don't want to own anything. You don't want to have any huge positions going to FOMC because it's such a binary day. Um, that's the day you want to put on a huge position. And you don't really want to go into it with the boat loaded and just hoping for the right for the right answer. Uh, because this thing could go any number of squirrely ways. Uh, so it doesn't, you know, that's gambling. We don't gamble in this business. Uh, we take bets on high probability events based on, you know, price action and, you know, real-time data. Anyway, let's look at dollar yen, BOJ tomorrow morning press conference. I have no idea how they can ease this out anymore. Um, we're in the middle of nowhere. I just want to mention this 109 level. Really, it's 109.05 in my mind. Huge level. Um, I think this probably comes into play if it's a 25 cut, and then he says it's insurance. Dollar yen shoots higher on Wednesday if he does that. But for now, there's nothing to do in dollar yen. I just want to mention 109.05, massively important, equal of equal importance as euro dollar, 111 the figure. Um, these levels are, are not to be messed with. There will be action uh, at these levels. I want to flip over to dollar max. This is a pattern that the entire world has been watching. And uh, if we have a real dovish fed this this should be your horse this massive head and shoulders uh, we've now had just kind of this middling rangy stuff we keep finding bids down there um, this sort of 95 93 to 95 area a lot of lines you can draw here a lot of lines will be drawn the first line uh, to be drawn is going to be this one um, and once we're through this sort of 97.50, you can kind of wonder and say, wow, man, are we going to really get through this 86? So it's 97.50, and then it's 92.50, and then the real uh, humdinger is probably 86 or this line if you want to use it as a neckline. Um, but this pattern in, in dollar max is, is very, very strong. There's going to be a lot of forces that are going to force this to attract down here. If we get a uh, piece of news that pushes it through, it becomes even more powerful. So I want everyone to keep an eye on this. And if you're bearish dollars, uh, dollar max looks like a good horse for you. Or if you're neutral, like you should be, and you're just looking for what to trade on a bearish scenario, uh, dollar max could be your could be your horse. Let's look at gold. Not for any reason except for the fact there are still too many tourists in the gold market. Um, gold is going to go higher. Uh, this we're pretty sure of, just based on our fear that we're at the top of this risk cycle. Uh, and people are going to lose faith in in sort of all asset classes when this thing turns because stocks and bonds are going to get smoked at the same time when this turns and then people will go to gold that day or that week but we're not there yet and for me good chance we see this flush a little bit more um, again we've talked about this at 1430 now we're talking about it again at 1420 we've already been down to 1411 there are too many tourists trading gold right now. People who have never traded gold before, people who are trading off of one headline or or one YouTube post. Um, gold needs to squeeze lower, and it probably needs to squeeze below 1386, which would really be a kick in the balls for even the medium-term models. Um, Anyway, nothing to do in gold today. I'm just I just want to talk about this um, as a general general trade. 
Let's flip into this Euro CAD. Uh, we think Dollar CAD is going to continue to drive this. We had pretty, we had a pretty bearish day on on Friday, which was annoying, um, but it was an inside day and so kind of a nothing day. We have a real strong focus at this 147.15 area, where we're going to um, add to longs and actually put on pretty good size through 147.15. So this is a moment to watch. We printed down to 38 today, so we've made a new low back at 57. Not doing much. Um, so I just want to focus or let everyone focus. This is a non-dollar paced pair. Um, there should be less volatility in this this week on, a, on a, what we would call a hysterically volatile dollar week. Um, 147.15, very, very important for us. And finally, stocks, 3021, not much to see here. We, we made that marginal new high, and then we closed uh, sort of five handles lower. It's been 2026 20, today. I have no idea what stocks are going to do. Uh, there's no point in having a stock position until we see how the market's going to react to the Fed. Um, so trim your shit down. Um, get into nimble mode. You can range trade this today. I don't expect uh, I don't expect any wild moves. Um, we're not going to trade it at all. We're just going to go into the Fed Square. It's bullish, but there's still too many bears uh, lingering around. Um, market's not bullish yet, so we have to wait for the market to get bullish for us to start to try and talk about tops again. Um, up 25% on the year already, I believe. Uh, Nazi's up 25. S&P looks like it's up around 21%. Um, you know, you have to start asking some questions and be like, while the Fed is like making insurance cuts, and um, are we really in for a 25% or a 30% year in in, um, in the S&P 500? We could be. Uh, but it certainly doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, sense to me. So, food for thought. Food for thought. Anyway, uh, no trading there today. Like like everything else, we are just let's see ult ultra short term tactical trading today. So you want to just try and steal some money from the market um, and keep your head clear and wait for the big events later in the week. Finally, real quick, cable, uh, new lows. This is like the hard Brexit trade that Boris is kind of forcing down the market's throat. We don't know what to do with cable. Um, we've obviously squared up our Euro Sterling shorts from mid last week. Um, no idea what to do here. It's politically driven. Um, We've got Carney on Thursday after the after the FOMC. We're going to be on holiday for Carney, so um, we'll be watching things from afar. I don't even know why I brought it up because I have really nothing in nothing good to say about it or nothing interesting to say about it. All right, I've said enough here. Um, short term tactical trading today. Trade for better averages on your core positions. Get your head right for Wednesday. Start the visualization process now. Literally, start it now. Work on it all day today, all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday. The longer you think about this and get ready for this, the better off you'll be on Wednesday. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.